Hi, Rex here at RW Mods. Um, today I want to show you guys these tools I started making. And uh, I've been using something like this for many years to uh, get this, uh, the sleeve out of the block. And I, I've i been using you know just a plastic machine version of this. And, and uh, it, it was something I, I, I thought a few months ago, well, I could 3D print them and, and uh, sell them. But then I couldn't get, uh, I downloaded Fusion 360 and I couldn't get it to work on my computer. And then, you know how that works out. It's just a few months go by before you kind of do something about it. Well, I finally downloaded uh, a different program and got that to work and stuff. So this is a, a fairly simple design. You just got a couple diameters. And, you know, as far as 3D printing, it's nothing groundbreaking. But uh, did a little logo here too, messing around. So. I got this engine, I, I uh, took apart this engine, I'm doing a video on, I'm redoing my video on how to take apart a nitro, nitro engine and how to assemble a nitro engine, so I'm going to redo those. I kind of wanted to wait till I had the proper tools and stuff to show those off, and uh, so look for that video, I'm gonna, those other ones were several years old, years, several, can't even talk today, several years old. So we're going to get, um, show you what this does, you're going to need a a screw in the end of the crank um this is you know a similar way to what i've i've done for years and then had videos on too so you're gonna put your driver in the end and then i i have one end is uh thinner than the others uh some some sleeves have a three port exhaust so the the center port is quite a bit narrower so this this narrow side is supposed to fit in that one a little bit better. You can always grind a little bit on this and Dremel, whatever you want, you know, to get it to work. So we're going to just put this in and push it. Uh, I don't know, you probably can't even see in there, but it's just going to go in the exhaust port. And then uh, you're just going to be pushing towards the exhaust port. And then uh, just turn the engine over. Let me see, I got... Just turn the engine over and the, it drives the sleeve out. It's that simple. I think what I was doing, I was pushing and I think it grabbed, it was uh, pushing on that groove there maybe, but when it didn't go in initially, but I get sleeves all the time in for resizing and the they're marred up from pliers and screwdrivers trying to pry it out. And I, I think once in a while, some people try and push with a screwdriver up from the bottom you know, and I've preached for years to use a, you know, a zip tie. So, you know, sometimes it, you just catch that with a zip tie. But a zip tie, a lot of times you'll just, if it's tight, you'll just cut the end of the zip tie off. So it's not really wide enough. So you, something wider like this, it's going to go in there and catch the port. So that's, um, that's what we're doing. And uh, some ports, uh, most ports have an angle to them. You know, so they're they're angled uh, I guess you know, angled up so that kind of doesn't help when that's up because it, it, it does give it a little bit you know it'll slip a little bit if it's if it's angled but um, this this usually works um, some some are really stubborn I've had I think one engine over the last 10 years that I couldn't get the sleeve out but sometimes you got to heat the block a little bit it depends on your fuel and the engine design and everything uh, some of them stick in there pretty pretty hard but heating up the block and stuff helps um, you maybe soak it overnight and in, in some you know some kind of oil or something too but um, and these are these are plastic and they're 3d printed plastic so if you get the block really hot you got something really hot you want to do it really quick get in there and get it up so that you're not melting the plastic and it, it is possible to melt this um, I haven't been using the 3D printed ones in the shop yet, but uh, we'll kind of see how hot. I'm, I'm guessing you get the engine, the block pretty hot. It's gonna, um, it's gonna melt this. So, 
And uh, this is the other tool. Looks pretty simple. I've had a video on uh, how to remove a, a clutch. Um, how to remove a clutch when the when it spins on the uh, when the clutch spins. So uh, normally you get a clutch on a on an engine. I'll just grab it with the big pliers. Grab the clutch. You know when you take the the bell off or the nut off that holds the clutch on. And but sometimes you go to pull the nut off and you got some Loctite on the on the threads and stuff, and all of a sudden the clutch wasn't tight against the taper and it it starts spinning. So then you're holding on this with the pliers and you're turning the crank over and the, the piston's just going up and down. So then you know it used to be they used to sell a lot of piston lock tools and they'd they'd have a just basically a dead you know like a thing that's stuck in where the glow plug is and you are going up against the piston. But I, I think that kind of stresses the rod and crank and bearings and stuff and I wasn't really a fan of that. So a few years ago I just I, I think I had a clutch um, problem like that and where it spun on there. So I ended up just uh, taking something plastic or whatever and, and you want to take the carb out, keep everything clean. I, I'm rebuilding this engine. I'm not worried about it on this one, but if you're at the track and you need to use this tool, you want to blow around that and make sure it's really clean before you take the carb off because you're going to be putting it back on. Um, so you just take the carb out and then uh, drop that in there and then you can, you know, it locks it it locks it solid, you know, and it, it's plastic, so it's not going to hurt anything. It's uh, should work on quite a few engines. I, I think I went smaller here, so it, uh, the crank window opening and sometimes the opening in the block are, is smaller and stuff too. So that's just a simple little tool. I, I'm selling the set, and I, I have them listed on eBay right now. Um, I got blue, white, and silver here, and uh, I got them listed on eBay. For twenty dollars shipped for the two tools um, shipped I I don't really have the capability right now on my site so I might do it on my site later I used to have PayPal buttons on my site that worked really good but I I haven't done them on this newer site that I did a couple years ago so I, uh, for right now I'm putting them on eBay I don't have I don't have a eBay uh, store so if you have an eBay store you can li you know I could list um, the different colors and you could just pick that and choose which one but if you don't have an eBay store you can't do that but eBay stores are like seven to twenty dollars depending on which level you're on um, a month subscription for the eBay store so just if you have a certain color you want just uh, put that in the notes like if you buy it and then uh, just put a note in there I want the silver one whatever and I'll, I'll get some black I got I'll get some other probably black and red here too but it's gonna work the same way no matter what color it is and and so we'll get that going so I have that listed already on this on the on eBay so we're gonna do uh, like I said I'm gonna do a, a video on uh, taking apart engine and then I'll do another video on uh, putting it back together just assembly I redo those videos um, so that's about it for today. Um, I hope you guys uh, like the tools and and find them useful. I I really think they they really do make a difference. So thanks for watching.